Hello, ANA. My name is Lauren Su, and you're watching our very first ANA TV segment this year. ANA TV, or video production, is the class that produces content by students for students. We report on news and activities, sporting events, and anything related to our time here together on campus. We'd like to invite all ANA cadets to help us create stories, because if you have an interesting hobby, a special goal you're putting your effort towards, or if there's a fun competition going on on campus, let us know and we'll be there to film and report. The segments are first shown in class and then posted to our official Army and Navy Academy YouTube channel. Let's begin by introducing a new leader on campus. Bob Artunian has the story. Dr. Desjardins, the current president of Army and Navy Academy, originally the president of Texas Military Institute, initially grew up in Austin, Texas, going to Bates College in Lewistown, Maine. This is his first year at Army and Navy Academy. As such, we interviewed him to get a better look at who he is as both a person and a leader. So I, I believe at its core, you know, leadership is about service. One of the most important things that a leader can do is spend their time and energy and be focused and committed on making sure that uh, the people that are working with them on their team are uh, have everything that they need in order to be successful in the role that they have. When it comes to the favorite part of his new job, President Desjardins was very clear what that would be. The cadets, I mean, I really have enjoyed getting a chance to uh, see and uh, learn um, the individual stories of, of the cadets and, you know, what brought them here and how they're taking advantage of the, of the opportunities to, uh, to be here. The battalion staff are among the cadets Dr. Desjardins has gotten to know better since his arrival. He had only praise for them. I was very impressed with uh, how well organized they were and how fundamentally committed they were to um, the responsibilities that they're under undertaking, which are uh, quite uh, quite extensive. The, the point of emphasizing uh, accountability and character and things that I think matter beyond the, beyond the classroom and can help boys develop into virtuous young men when they when they leave the academy I'm, I've been very I've been very impressed so far. Interviewing Dr. Desjardins was a fun endeavor and we thank him for his time. We wish him good luck. For NATV, I'm Bob Canartunia. Thanks Bobby. We also dedicated some of our time to all the new cadets hoping that they remain seen and supported by all of us. We interviewed a few of this school year's plebs to see how they're fitting into our school. We focus on what their goals and aspirations are for this year and what has helped them adjust. There was a lot of kids that kind of picked me up and uh, made me realize that this school was good for me because in the beginning I didn't want to be here. Um, I've made a lot of friends. I have, you know, a pretty large friend group here and they're all really good kids. William Trotter took it upon himself to make repairs around the school. I got some projects already running, I got, got a club running, uh, join it if anyone sees this, uh, come talk to me. Uh, at some boys felt especially accepted and guided into this new community. Oh. Dalian Millette is one of them. I wanted to be a pilot when I get older, so I saw that it had an aviation program and I came here. It helped me pretty good, helped me stay out of uh, trouble. And encourage me to do better. I see Matt Stein as a role model. He motivates me to be better. While these boys have adjusted pretty well to the new environment, we want to remind you that a new school can be challenging for everyone. If you see a new or old student struggling, help them. It doesn't matter if it's in the classroom or on the field. A helping hand is always appreciated. Stay strong and never give up. For ANA TV, I am Lawrence Zhu. And last but not least, a football update with Owen Turner. The football team at ANA is building something very special this year. They've begun the season as a winning team both on and off the field. The academy has made huge strides in the off season to prepare for the tough upcoming opponents. We begin our story with the pride of the school, a prestigious and hardworking man, Coach Brunson who has shared with us his number one value that he upholds on a daily basis. 
commitment. Um, this is something that you'll use for the rest of your life, uh, the commitment, the brotherhood, the bond. Um, the bonds that you you get in football are some of the bonds that you'll have with your teammates for the rest of your life. We really push brotherhood. Um, we talk about a, we have a little motto called Dirty 30. I mean, there's only about 35 of us, and it's something that we've taken from programs that we've had in the past where, you know, those 30 guys thrive together, and when they do that, then, you know, nothing can break that bond that they have. Coach Brunson describes some of the coaching techniques that he is applying on his players during practice. I feel football is a sport that, you know, is essential to life, um, especially all sports are. Um, but, I mean, this group is just special. They all get along. They all hang out. It's something that you want on this campus. Um, the support we're getting from, you know, all the cadets on a Friday night is, is awesome. I mean, because of that, we're 2-0 at home. Xavier Leatherman. Our starting linebacker and freshman define his thoughts on team spirit and commitment. It's a brotherhood. That, that's the best part about it. We all got each other's back. I can go to any one of them. Right, they, guys, they got me. The Army and Navy Academy has faced seven opponents so far, bringing home four wins and three losses. As they go forward, they promise to continue working hard and improve even more for you cadets. Thank you for all of your support. For ANA TV, I am Owen Turner. Thank you, Owen. We'll see you all next time. For ANA TV, I am Lawrence Sue.